Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Emily and I've been working a lot in the Lego City recently. Me and Ross spent pretty much the whole weekend just working on the Disney World area over here. You can tell that it's just a total disaster, but that's just the reality of working on a Lego City. Pieces go everywhere. There's just like sets randomly scattered all over the place. It's definitely a mess. But the reason I'm making this video today is because I've gotten so many requests from y'all asking me to convert the Lego Friends Theater into the Muppets Theater. And I think it looks really good. I am so proud of this. Me and Ross were working on this a lot this weekend, trying to just make it the best version of itself as we can. You can see the Friends Theater, or rather, our Muppets Theater, right in the corner there. So let me grab the set and we'll take a closer look in a second. But first, if you do enjoy LEGO City content, vlogs or live streams, please do consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Thank you. All right, so here we have Andrea's Theater School. Just keep in mind that it is on a Mills plate. We have modified the set by basically just putting this building onto some plates and making it into a Mills plate so it fits better into the Lego City. A lot of friend sets have like these weird curvatures to them and just have different shapes that aren't as blocky. And because our Lego City is in the Mills system, putting it on a Mills plate is the best way to have an inner city. But now let's get to what's actually changed about this set. I think the biggest thing that dresses up this set is the tile work we have here. We found these shield pieces at our picker brick wall in Austin, Texas, which I was blown away by. So we grabbed only about half a cup of them. I wish we got more really bummed that we didn't I just didn't really think that far ahead I didn't know that we'd be able to use them in this beautiful tile pattern eventually um, but then looking around to the back side just because Disney World is like an inauthentic place you know like obviously everything doesn't need to make sense but it is hidden you know they do a really good job at hiding everything away so that's kind of what we did with this wall here these pieces are just so handy and these are other pieces that we actually found on the pick brick wall so we put them to good use by just kind of covering up the back side of this obviously it doesn't really make much sense to modify it completely to where all of this is completely hidden but having the wall here i feel like just makes it make a little bit more sense especially if there's a walkway behind it or even just another building having it be a wall that you see rather than like a tree costume, just, it made more sense to us, but that's kind of why we hit it. And having these giant pieces serve as the wall just makes everything so much quicker and easier. So now let me show you the grand reveal of what we're looking at on the inside. Obviously there's tile going on here, the front of it opens, and we did our best to make sure that everything works seamlessly, but check this out. Is this not stunning? I love how this turned out. Let me center it a little bit better. This just looks so good. The tile pattern works inside and outside Side. like it looks great displayed like this it also looks great closed up and you wouldn't even know that it's a theater you know but like when you open it up just like that bright thing of red there just really makes the set pop all the gold everywhere it looks so good the biggest thing to keep in mind if you are trying to convert your theater school into a Muppets theater is that these sides do open and it extends past the end of a base plate. You can see when they're open just 90 degrees, they do come off by two studs on either side. So that's a little bit disappointing. It just makes it difficult when working in a Lego City setting, but also not the end of the world. You just need to make sure that whatever sets you put into the side of it are small enough or shaped the correct way to where this isn't a problem. But also I feel like the two main ways to display this in a Lego City setting are either like closed or even just permanently open. They open all the way to the sides. You can see when these are fully open, it makes pretty much a straight line across. Obviously it's not like a perfect line. These stick out a little bit more, but also I feel like the two ways that people would mainly be displaying the set are either just closed. It really looks beautiful just from the front there. I mean, it looks like a budget modular to me and especially next to some other sets in the Lego city, it just looks really good like that. So that is one really nice way to display it. But the other way is of course, just leaving it open all the time. This is a little bit of an issue if you have a Lego city just because of how much it extends. But I do like that when you have tiles down here, it does make it slide very easily. You have to lift it up just you know slightly so that it doesn't catch on anything, but yeah, it's really nice having that flexibility with the set. So now checking out what we've done to make it into more of a Muppets theater. The main thing are the chairs here. So we've switched out, it was just pink tiles, two by four tiles. We switched it out with these two by four, like half plate, half tile pieces. I don't know what these are called, but that just allows for minifigures to sit there comfortably. You can't really see them too well. So obviously like the color choice and piece usage isn't super important. So then a few more things that I did to make it more Muppety here is obviously these balconies. I had to put some Muppets in there. I love this one. This was a huge request that I got is adding Stadler and Waldorf into one of the balconies so that they can be sassy towards the people on stage. I'll show you what's going on in there. In a second, look at Kermit. Okay, anyways, 
They fit perfectly in there. They can hold their accessories just fine. There's a little bit of room in the front for their legs. So space is definitely not an issue. And I was also a little bit worried about maybe their head molds being too big. I guess these guys would be more of an issue, but everything fits perfectly. That is 0% a problem. So I'm really happy about that. And it's very hard to see it over here. So let's just take a peek over on this side. You can see what it looks like with the normal length of minifigure legs. First, the midi legs on this side. He's still able to sit down, which is really good. That's very important but his legs are a little bit shorter. So just kind of showing you what that looks like. All right, so now the grand reveal of what is going on on stage and just an example of how you could incorporate the Muppets here. The set comes with this cloud piece that hangs down, but of course we put Kermit's rainbow for the rainbow connection song, like that just had to happen. The chicken fell over. Oh no. The curtains unfortunately don't open up any more than this, but you could probably like attach them in some way. These are studs on either side, so like, Oh, okay, there we go. That's kind of handy. So I placed one of the curtains onto the top there just so you can see it a little bit better. It doesn't look great. I feel like this looks nicer, but you do have more room for display. On stage, I put some of my favorites of the minifigs here. We have Miss Piggy on the end, Kermit, Fozzie, and Gonzo with his chicken, of course. We didn't change out the background at all. As you can see, like the plates are decorated as part of the set. This one's like a nighttime scene. This one here is a castle. I'm sure there's tons of ways to be creative with what's going on in the scene behind them, but we haven't really changed anything with that yet. Some other changes I would like to see happen with this set, but that I haven't really done anything about yet, is the top of it. It says Assembly Theater. I don't know what I would change to make that more Muppets oriented. So if you do have any ideas, please let me know. These are stickers, so obviously I don't have like a Muppets sticker or anything like that, but it would be nice to make it a little bit more Muppets themed in that sense. There's also the different little billboards and advertisements outside. I don't know what I would put there instead. But something easy you can do is put the Miss Piggy magazine cover on top of the balcony here. I think that just looks really nice and it really stands out there. I also put Animal with his drum set on that side just because there was a lot more space on that side rather than over here. But here we have Janice with her guitar. So I really like just having a few Muppets outside just kind of showing more of what it is. But Definitely from the outside, it's not really anything Muppet related. So I would like to change a few more things. If you guys do have any ideas, please let me know. So overall, this is everything that I've done with the Muppets Theater. We have the minifigs outside, Miss Piggy, and then along the back, we do have this black wall. The tile work, obviously, all over the place, including inside. I would like to add a few more things, so please do let me know in the comments if you have any ideas. I love how the minifigs look on either side, plus just like, you know, having an actual Muppets show on stage is so cool. It's just perfect. So I'm really happy with how it's looking so far. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Please do consider subscribing down below and I'll see you next time.